G'day mates, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. This is uh, Swedish Saviors and it's a bit of a, uh, bit of a struggle here. We're not doing very well. Uh, I've pushed, actually, well, let's put things in perspective. We're doing very well. You know, I've come all the way down. Sweden has survived. We've pushed into pretty much single-handedly. The Allies have come in to back us up after we've done it. But all pretty much all new ground has been taken by Sweden. We uh, currently control Northern Germany a little bit and we're in the process of liberating France, but uh, we've hit a bit of a, a bit of a snag at the moment. Our people are a little bit stuck here now. Yeah, we're taking a lot, a lot of damage here. Uh, we still need more tanks coming in, but we're doing pretty well. I think they just need to reinforce. We actually have the required amount. Mm, we're running out of, um, running out of support equipment as well. Mechanized, you know what? You're doing bugger all at the moment. You can, you can just fuck off for the time being, and I'll come back to you at a later date. Artillery is doing pretty well. How many are we going to need if we were to put artillery in there? We're going to acquire 360, and we can do that. Okay, I'm going to give that'll give us a little bit of extra. I forgot to check how much it's giving us. It's giving us uh, one extra heart attack, 18 soft attack which is probably about 10%. Uh, a little bit of defense will break through. So it is dropping our armor and our piercing slightly. Uh, if they're green, because I'm removing it, you'll obviously flip these numbers around. So in this case, I would be, by adding the artillery, I'm losing 1.2 armor. Be losing a little tiny bit of piercing, bit of weights going down, which is actually good. Um, so on and so forth. Okay. We're not losing too much. I think the artillery will help us. 10% extra soft attack is probably useful somewhere. And of course, as the artillery levels up, I'm currently using very basic artillery, actually. I think, yeah, there we go. Beaufort's. I have a really interesting, um, Swedes are really good artillery designer. So I think I'm going to grab that one there. Cut off our small arms designer. But go the artillery, and that actually may be able to help us at a later date with a fair bit of artillery coming in. So 10.69 per day is pretty good. It'll allow us to hopefully outfit these guys in the near future as well. Ah, oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? You know what? He's throwing Swedish lives away at the moment, so stop for the time being. We've got pretty much no people left. Yeah, okay, we've got no people left. We have hit a snag. So we're going to have to move up to the next level of conscription, which is service by requirement. Now, uh, we lose 10% of factory output. That's pretty much the main thing. Construction time doesn't bother me, because not, we're not developing our nation anymore. Uh, and training time is irrelevant, because we're not training any more people. So another 350,000 people... So the question now is where are we going to break through? I was thinking here would be a good one to break through, but obviously the Allies have uh, cut off any potential bottleneck there. Um, here is looking to be like a little weak spot. Once obviously we win this battle. Um, are you attacking? Here we go. Breakthrough right here. So a couple of you guys actually hold them there. That'll stop any reinforcements coming in. We'll be able to come right in. Uh, we may even be able to come in behind them and take to lose here. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, you actually keep pushing that way. Meanwhile, you guys go for to lose. And again, apologies for pronunciation. And my French is or less than stellar. Okay. Now we can't we can't push them up against this border here because they will just retreat into Franco's lands. But with that, there we go. There's another single division that we've not got. It is a Panzer division, so it's medium tank division. Uh, two medium tanks, two light tanks, three motorized, and a bunch of support. So it's a pretty good capture there. Um, how's it all going up here? It's going very gradually. You know what? I think for the time being we're going to 
stop where we are. You can also stop pushing for the time being because you're actually wasting heavy tanks that we do need. We are struggling a little bit. So industry's gone down. We're not producing as many of everything. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. Um, total number of heavy tanks we require is decreasing, which means these guys are receiving their tanks. And we're doing good damage over here. So by pushing them up against the Pyrenees, that will give us a very good defensible line. Now the Allies will go down, once we push along here, the Allies will actually come down and fully staff this border for us, which is why it's great uh, having all these AI nations on your side. Now they will they will basically hold that line for us. I don't know what I want. I don't really need anything. Uh, go cruisers. We may build some in the future, maybe. But uh, they will hold that line. Because it's mountain, the AI down here is un unlikely to be able to push back up. They'll allow us to uh, keep the kill train going over this direction. Okay. How are things going? You are going to completely relocate. Now, where are we going to relocate you to? If I can put you there... I wonder if we can actually push through with all of our divisions and uh, cut off a significant chunk of these guys. The Allies are pushing, so you now we may even just go down that way and cut off those guys. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do this just yet. But uh, we'll get these guys lined up, we'll get a bit of preparation bonus, maybe 25%, and then we will head on off once again. Uh, the thing is, we need to start cutting these divisions down. Let's have a quick look at how many the Germans have. Now they've got... Where are we? They've got more than 400 divisions. Possibly as high as 500. That's a lot of divisions. Uh, especially when we've got... Uh, what have we got there? 28 uh, Norwegians and... You know, 40 or so... Uh, regular guys of our own. Now, our guys are very, very elite. They are a very powerful army. But... Uh, come on, guys. Get up there. Now, they are very, very strong, but we don't have very many of them. So we can push through in little pockets like this and try and make the, uh, the enemy bleed. But that is the best we can hope for, I think, at this point. Um... I wonder if we can get these guys here. Now obviously if we get cut off that would be an ab absolute travesty. But for the time being we're doing pretty well. Anti-tank is probably not going to help us very much because I think we're piercing everything already. Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We don't need anything there. It's in a hundred days for that one there. That one is still coming as well. It's done. We're working on everything here. I don't really know what we need. I think, I think we've got everything. Radar is not going to be helpful at all. I may as well start pushing ahead of time and grab one of these. Now, production efficient retention is good. I do like that one there. But I think we're going to go for efficiency growth. This is what I tend to go for, uh, because we're already going down here. We've already got pretty good retention, but getting the growth will be more helpful to us. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Now, it's a little bit ahead of time, but we should have that shortly. How many days? 200 and... yeah. Just over 200 days we will have that. Uh, heavy Tank 3s will be coming online shortly, and uh, Atomic Research is ticking over slowly. We may get there one day. Uh, I'm going to... There we go. Select you guys. I'm just going to push off that way. I'm going to get everyone to push. And they'll take their own paths. Let's try that again. There we go. Go this way. And some of you will hopefully be able to break through. Now, if anything that happens, we might be able to exploit it. And even if we don't uh, make encirclement, it'll cause these guys to begin retreating. And that means that the Allies can then just take the land. And that really is all we need. Uh, just keep driving them back, driving them back compressing them more and more, and eventually they will, uh... Well, that's a bit shit. Just go up that way and take land for the time being. World War One style, that's what I've been, uh, 
<laughs> That's what I've been doing a lot of lately. Mm. Yeah, don't worry about that attack for the time being. It's a problem, we're so slow. These heavy tanks are... what's our speed? Why one kilometer an hour? Infrastructure and forest. Huh. Well, that shit. Okay, uh, our people are really, really slow. So we're not going to do very many encirclements, I think. You, though... You might be able to come down that way. I get you to hold them for a little bit. The rest of them may actually be able to come around and encircle if they eventually get their bloody act together. They're so slow. Come on, guys, get your act together. Come on, move, move. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna catch them. What I need to do is work on uh, light tanks or. Possibly even get those modern tanks going eventually. Then we'll have a, a bit more speed. We'll be able to zip around them and take them down. Uh, you know what? We might get a couple here. We might get a couple. You know what? Even if we drive them back across the Pyrenees, I am satisfied with that result. That will send quite a lot of German divisions down south. And they won't uh, pose a threat to us anymore as we take out the rest of Germany. Over here, you're doing pretty well. You've built up your planning bonus again. You can attack. You, uh, you're actually pretty good as well. You guys can put on the pressure. Hopefully draw something up that way. Meanwhile, down here. Yeah, we're pushing across. We'll see if we can actually get them or not. Hmm. What's that? 1, 10, 10 or 11, 12 maybe units. I'm not sure exactly how many. Uh... Yeah, it looks like 12. Uh, doing reasonably well there. Over here, how are we pushing over here badly? Norwegians are doing very badly. They're throwing themselves out of the trenches and getting mowed down. But our tanks are doing pretty well. We are crossing into Germany proper here. We've, uh, what's that, the Rhineland? Yeah, we've taken the Rhineland completely. And let's have a quick look at what... There are... A bunch of civilian factories and a couple of military factories we can take there. So you, I'm actually going to ask you for control of that state. Why have you refused it? You think I've got too much. Let's just have a quick look here at uh, how much I have done. Sweden has done 53% of this war with the United Kingdom taking up 40% and the, everyone else contributing a couple of percentage points between them. So, I think you're being greedy there, Belgium. No worries, we will we will manage. We will manage without. Now, if you can get in there, we might be able to actually knock off at least one or two more guys here. Come on, get them. Come on. Come on, mate. Get the Krauts. You know what, I don't think we actually managed to catch any guys here. It's not going as well as I'd hoped. So we're going to stop you for the time being and bring everything back. Let the allies take care of that. We're going to focus that away. Build up your planning bonus again and then we'll keep pushing in. Uh, we're not actually killing a lot of Germans at this, way, at this point. We're just... Yeah, hardly any Germans are actually dying. What we're doing though is we are taking back land. Now, the importance of taking back land is that it's giving our uh, our allies here factories. So France has an absolute metric shit ton of manpower that's completely untapped. So, I'll give you control of anything. They've got a lot of manpower that's completely untapped. Okay. So, now that we've uh, liberated a bunch of their land, they'll actually be able to start throwing down uh, more divisions gradually, trickle into the fight. So we will be able to keep fighting and building up that way. So land is valuable when you're liberating. Not hugely valuable when you're attacking. You really do want to surround and uh, knock off the divisions unless you can actually grab an important point like, for example, the capital here. You guys should be able to just push and attack them. I don't know what you're doing. It's pretty much up to us. 
Okay, let's push in. We're going to go to... We haven't built up very much. We still need more heavy tanks, more motorised. A couple more towed artillery. That's only one day's worth. I'm just going to wait for the time being. It's going to buy a little bit more time. I might have a pocket over here, actually. You guys, push for it. Now, I wonder if we're actually going to get anything here or not. We don't have the decryption to know exactly who we're catching, but I think it's pretty tight. And they can't get through here, because as soon as they try and move into there, they'll fall into an attack. So... Even though we're losing this battle, um, I reckon we're going to catch a lot of guys here. Maybe, maybe not. You guys can pull a little pressure off there that'll allow us to hopefully. Um, are you still attacking? Yep, still attacking at 55 though. You guys push in here. 80, what do we need? Um, they can't pierce our heavier divisions. We are pretty much just... Okay, we've got them. I think we've got them 92, 93. Ooh, excellent. A bit of artillery would be very nice. The leveled up artillery in just under 70 days. And there we go. Okay, trapped a whole bunch of dudes. With that, killed them. That'll be excellent. That'll knock down their count quite a bit. Uh, you're offering us two... You know what? I'll take them. Oops, wrong button. You guys, join that. Join the push. So we've got 30 allied units helping us at the moment. I really wish they would give us more equipment though. Because they're doing a pretty shit job so far. Um... I'm going to tell them to keep attacking though, just because they're taking the pressure off us. Uh, because uh, it's a, being an attack line, so all the AI will be moving the units back up that way to block them off. Meanwhile, you guys are surrounded, out of supply. You have uh, the allies flying overhead. Yep, we're knocking out. Doing well here, doing very well. This front down here, you actually can probably push through. I'm going to tell you all to push that way and then that way. Now, actually, I like doing this all pushing for one province. What they tend to do is they tend to open each other's uh, supply lines and uh, provide a bit of a front, but it's more directed than just allowing the AI to push through. Even on very aggressive, they just sort of tend to dick around and just push around bit by bit and force the line back. This will allow me to do a proper breakthrough while still using the planning bonus. So hopefully... Yeah, I mean, we do actually have to break through. And the problem is, this is pretty mountainous terrain. Yeah, it's all mountains. Mountains, mountains. A bit of plains down here. I probably would have been better suited going along the coast with my tanks. But uh, looks like they got a lot of dudes down there. So maybe not. Either way, if these guys keep breaking through, there's 12 of them there. That's more than sufficient to keep on pushing through. They're not going to run out of organization anytime soon. So we'll be uh, we'll be doing well there. And... If I can get a couple of guys to just attack here while we try and push through and take that there, we can uh, knock off a bunch more as well. Not going to happen. They actually did a better job attacking than I thought they would. Either way, there's a couple there that will knock off. Uh, if we can get there, of course. We don't want to win this fight. If we win this fight, that'll just push them back. So we want to keep them engaged, but make them think they're winning for long enough that they're not going to retreat. So we can actually break through. Now, a human player, obviously, would fall back. But the AI got to exploit that weakness. And there we go. Yes, okay, got him. With that, there's another couple of units knocked off. Uh, yep, there we go. Once we get the encirclement bonus, they just melt away. Multiple combats, yeah, they can't handle it. Evaporated. 
Okay, so we're gradually, gradually pushing them back. I would actually love to take some land. Württemberg is looking nice. I'm going to ask for Württemberg. I would love if you could give me Württemberg there. Refused again because, yeah, you think I own too much. Ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much. We've got a fair bit of stuff here. We've got pretty good, uh, pretty good lands. That's really good. If I could actually build up Westfallen, Westfallen. We don't have the civilian factories. Is the problem? Atomic research though is very nice. Now with a fifty percent ahead of time bonus, that is going to save us very little. But you know what? We'll take it. It's one hundred and fifty nine days there. Uh, we are gradually getting. I don't know if we're going to have nukes at all though in time. Uh, it'll probably be useful for Japan if we get to that far or I mean, if we're still fighting Germany in you know however many hundred days it takes to research nukes and then build nucle nuclear reactors uh, then this game has well and truly stagnated by then so hopefully things won't get that bad but you know what this is where we're gonna call it it's been a little bit shorter but I do need to take a little time and think about what I'm doing where my next plan of action is going to be. So I've been Bill said this has been Hearts of Iron 4. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button if you do indeed enjoy the content. Uh, I'm still sick so I probably content is not on top of its game at the moment but don't you worry I'll be getting back on the wagon very very shortly. Take care and I'll see you next time.